All right, guys. We have found what appears to be, I think this might be, a cinnabar polypore. And in a second, I'll show you the underside. And it is, in fact, a polypore. And we're going to try to identify this mushroom through a series of tests. All right, so first things first, what we want to do is just extract the mushroom. We want to prove to the viewer that this is, in fact, a polypore and not a gilled mushroom, because that matters, as you all know. So let's take a piece off here. Okay. And we're going to, ooh, that's interesting. Upon touch, I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, so upon touch, we got some bruising here. Right there, we got some bruising. Also right here, on the center point, we got some bruising. The next course of action that we're going to take is we're going to put some potassium hydroxide on this mushroom to see if it stains. And if it's what I suspect it is, and I think that this is a cinnabar polypore, we should see maybe like a, a olive to purplish stain on the pore surface. Oh, it's hydrophobic. Sometimes that happens. So what you have to do is kind of, you know, let it blob on there and let it sink in a little bit. And as you can see, let me see if I can focus better here. It's staining like a blackish brown color. Let's see if we can get a better view of the stain. If I maybe hold it here. And let it kind of sink in for a little bit. Before I let it drip off. This is a good way to get on the hydrophobic surface of this, these mushrooms, these polypore mushrooms. Then we let it drip off and see the color change there and that's kind of like a it's kind of hard to see but it's like an olive color it's definitely an olive color so we can uh, make some inferences from that let me see if I can get a better it's kind of hard to see because there's like, like a glare I have a polarizer on here let me see if I can polarize that glare off of that picture there a little better definitely an olive type color you can also see that appearing here like an olive color let's flip around and do the cap surface this time got some geese flying by little stream babbling in the background I just really love being out in nature and exploring the wilds and all of the treasures it provides to us. Okay guys, let's try to get some potassium hydroxide on the cap here. Okay, it's an immediate color change, like a grayish purplish color. So, these are clues. On the, cap surf on the cap surface, we have a bit of a color change, grayish purple color. On the pore surface, we have some, uh, some olive, kind of drab olive color, or maybe a yellowish olive color. Let's revisit the pore surface again. And yes, oh yeah, you can see a, a definite, let's see that here. See if we can get that to focus. A definite kind of yellow olive color. That's very interesting. 